Subscribe to Witchtube for latest tech related videos. I've done many videos on how to make the most out of the cover display of the latest Galaxy Z Flip 4 or even the previous Z Flip 3. All those videos are linked at the end. In the first place, Samsung could have made all this possible, but nope, they did not. As they don't need to, I think due to the lack of proper competition. And hence, many developers have stepped up to solve this problem and today I'm going to talk about Cover Screen OS by IJP, which you can download from the Play Store. Now the app is primarily free to use, but all the features that makes this Cover Screen OS recommendable are hidden behind the paywall of $2 monthly or $15 yearly and few lifetime options for Z Flip 4 owners. All this may change at developer's discretion depending on when you're watching this video. Few things that I noticed hidden behind the paywall at the time of filming this video are you can't add new quick setting toggles unless you pay. You can't visit the settings section without seeing an ad. And an ad may be displayed during the usage. You also often get a pop-up to support the developer by getting the premium version and few other minor inconveniences. So I'll say that if you want a better free version of this cover screen OS then go and check out the video linked at the end where I have shown a free version that works well. But not so well as the full version of this cover screen OS and hence the goal of today's video is to show you how robust the premium version of this cover screen OS is should you decide to get the full version. Now it does take a bit of a learning curve to get used to the user interface but once you are done it works great. During the first install, you need to allow all the permissions in order for this app to work well. However, the developer has made the setup process more than clear with a short demo on the app itself. Once the app is all done and ready to go, on the cover display when you slide down, you can access the quick setting toggles. Swipe right to access the notifications. Swipe left to access the default widgets. Swipe up to access play music or media menu. The hardest thing to learn will be how to access the grid style menu for which you have to just tap once on the display and the menu will pop up. Now to exit the menu just swipe right. Once you learn this you are all set to go. The menu has all these options on top like orientation lock to portrait or landscape. Next is search where a QWERTY keyboard will open up and you can literally search for any app really quick. This is super cool. This is something that is not possible on the Samsung launcher. Next is app organization by alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order. Another cool thing about this cover screen OS that is not available on the Samsung is here you can see the notification counter on the app icon which is super cool and helpful that way you can check that app without flipping the phone open. Now I do understand that this can be a deal breaker for someone who is trying to limit their screen on time. So you can literally turn off the counter from the app itself. The next option is to organize app by recently opened app which is so very helpful for people like me or the next option is favorite apps where you can add apps to the favorite from the cover screen app on the mobile. So that way you can have quick access to all your favorite apps. All these features are hidden behind the paywall and hence they are not available for free on the Samsung launcher. Now few settings on the app itself that are really helpful are under settings where you can turn on to resume apps on main screen. Control screen out time, hide notification content until unlock which is very helpful for security. You can also set QWERTY keyboard as default. Edge lighting which is my favorite. Again all these are not available on Samsung where you can adjust the color of the edge lighting. Its gradient, its width and duration. To be honest edge lighting tool looks super cool. You gotta use it to appreciate it. Moving on there are some app drawer customizations like default orientation, show notification counter, app name, drawer styling, hidden apps favorite apps and more importantly you can predefine which apps will open in landscape and which one in portrait. This is truly the pinnacle of cover screen optimization. I hope Samsung does something like this. All this makes paying for the premium version so worth it. 
Finally, you can control the VoIP caller ID where it's just WhatsApp. I wish there were more options, but it at least says here work in progress. And speaking of WhatsApp, the one thing that I really miss from the free version of the Samsung launcher is that I was able to make voice and video call on WhatsApp straight from the cover screen. But this is not apparently possible at the time of filming this video with this cover screen OS. I'm sure the developer will be working on it and maybe by the time you watch this video it will be available already. Now once you pay for the premium version you can even add more options to quick toggles. And also more widgets. However at the time of filming this video there is only one music player style. They say more styles are on the way and I'm looking forward to those. Comment down below if you feel that this is worth paying for and also check out the Samsung launcher so you know which one of these launcher will suffice all your needs. Now let me show you a few of my favorite apps and games and more importantly the keyboard usage feature on this cover screen. Starting with YouTube. Comment down below if you would prefer landscape or portrait mode. I prefer Instagram in portrait mode as watching reels on Instagram is actually a fun time kill option. By the way, I regularly post some amazing reels on Instagram so be sure you follow Widgetube on Insta so you don't miss out any of those upcoming reels. Even checking out Facebook feed and interacting with features, like and comment is also possible. Speaking of comments, let's talk about the keyboard options. So this is how it will open up when you opt to type a message, reply an email or comment. Here you can use the voice feature to dictate a reply like this. Subscribe now, it's free. From all my usage up until now, it's pretty spot on and you can literally rely on the voice feature to reply accurately. Or you can select keyboard, which in my case will open up a QWERTY keyboard as that is what I have selected as my default keyboard option. And despite of my broad fingertips, I am still able to accurately type a quick reply this is one of those features in my opinion worth paying for. In Samsung Launcher, this option is available for $1.99 at the time of filming this video, but it's not even remotely close and worth paying for. Cover Screen OS offers way more in terms of keyboard than any other launcher. You can even get a T9 keyboard for those who still have the muscle memory for the T9 keyboard found on those retro phones. Speaking of retro phones, I have done videos for a quite a few of them on this channel which you must check it out if you're into retro phones. Likewise, you can literally use any social media app on this cover display or even any app. I have tested out many apps like Gallery, Adobe, Amazon, mailing app, etc. And so far all the apps works great on the cover display just like they would on the main display. Now let's play some games like Tomb Raider, which is a retro game. I still remember playing these games on those retro phones like Nokia 6600, Nokia N95, Engage. Comment down below if you have played this game. Now personally, I would only play single tap time kill games like this Jetpack Joyride on this tiny cover display, unlike those complex multi-touch input games as some of the buttons will be overlaid which will make them hard to play. But such single tap games are super easy to play and works great. Guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for sticking around. Be sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe as I have 500 plus tech videos and more coming out soon, which I don't want you to miss out on. So this is how you can supercharge the cover display of the latest Z Flip 4 or even the Z Flip 3. You must check out this video to learn about the difference between paid and free cover screen launchers and I bet it will be helpful.